Okay guys, this week we have, have you ever seen a rain Credence Clearwater Revival? Apologies first of all because that was so high I really couldn't get there. But I kept it in this key uh, because if you want to play along to the record then you can. Okay, the intro is... should be an A minor which will be all the way across on the second and pinky on the fifth fret so if you want to play it authentically that's what you've got to play to start with I'm playing an A just all the way on the second and I, when you're playing it I don't think you can really hear the difference anyway so it's A or A minor um, and then it's an F I've come all the way up here to the F on the 10th fret for, and that's because I've got arthritis and I'm struggling to play this triangular shape but really this is how you should play it is an A or even an A minor then a the triangular F which is just a very easy change there did you see that so from there that pinky is already in place so that A a minor shape to an F is an easy change. And then a C, then an open G, then start. And so that bass run was five, all on the bass string, five, four. Two, open, and then we're starting on the C, all the way across on the fifth. Someone told me long ago. Okay, so let's just run through that again. So it's, I'll try and do it with a triangular shape. So the verse is, the verse is just C and a G. So I told me long ago. Um, rather than just doing that, I did lift my finger off of there, um, off that bass. So, so I told, and I was also damping it. Accentuating it so you can see what I'm doing. It's raining sunny day. G I know shining down like water. Right. So we've done that and now we're doing a chorus. It's an F and you can play the F roots on a uh, third fret and two outside strings on the fifth. G, open G. No, have you C, ever seen the rain? It's the A or A minor, but there is this bass note. So it's the if you're playing the C, and then you want to get that bass note on the fourth fret in. finger won't allow me to stretch. Let's try and put that in context. that 
bass run before you get back to the uh, verse. The five, four, two, open. Back on the C. You can play this any way you want. You can pick in style, strum in with a plectrum, without a plectrum. It's entirely up to you. Um, I, I'm playing a C down here and a D, just that middle string on the 12th fret. And then if you wanted to muck about with it, because that C and the G, there's a lot on the verses, there's quite a bit of uh, time between the two. something of yourself into it and that's it the verse the chorus verse and a chorus and repeat the chorus that is the whole song it's a very very quick song so if you've enjoyed it you know what to do by now and we'll see you in the next one bye for now